If you're going backpacking for a little bit longer, you're going to need to resupply unless you're going to carry all the food for your trip. If you go into a particular remote area, then you might have to do that. Pack every single bit of food into your pack. And what that means is you're going to have to have a pack that can carry heavier loads. But uh, if you're able to go into town, say, go to the grocery store and buy some food, more food, then you can carry less food and just resupply as you go along. Uh, the Appalachian Trail is a trail that you could do that. You hike for a little bit, go into town, get some more food. Here's a couple of books uh, put out by the uh, Appalachian Trail Conservancy. Uh, a Through Hiker's Planning Guide and a Through Hiker's Companion. These two books are nice in helping you plan your, your uh, hike. It talks a little bit about uh, how to uh, set up a post office drop. You can actually mail yourself some stuff. Uh, Go to a local uh, uh, trail town's post office and come in and say, hi, I'm so-and-so. I need to uh, uh, pick up a package for a thru-hiker, and they'll hand it to you. There's a technique called bump boxes where you, if you know what's in that box and you don't need it, you can actually bump it to the next trail town, um, and then you don't have to pay extra postage. As long as you don't open the box, you just say, I want to bump this to the next place and give them the address. These books will list the addresses for all the post offices all along this particular trail. So mailing yourself stuff is one way to resupply. Going into a trail town is another way. Uh, downside of that is you're going to have to take what is local. So if you have specific dietary needs, then you may want to use the mailing option. If you have any questions, give your local outfitter a holler.